Hi, this is Jackie with Creative Bible Journaling. And today I'm going to pack quite a few different tips and tricks into one lesson. And then we'll use packing tape to give a photograph the appearance of having glass in the picture frame. I hope you enjoy our tutorial. The first step is to trace or draw your illustration into your Bible. The next step in the project is to color the art. Today I'm using DeWitt Color Soft colored pencils, my new favorite. They have a soft lead and you can put multiple layers for blending and it makes nice vibrant colors on the page without having to press hard and I'm really happy with them. There are a number of places in this video where it jumps ahead so you don't have to take the time to watch the slow process of illustrating. For this project, we have some gems that need to be colored. There's some basic technique to making gems look like they're sparkling. You have to establish a light source. We will say the light is coming from right here. Now where the light goes into the glass, you're not getting a reflection. So that's the darkest color you're gonna use on your gems. And I'm using these shades of pink and purple and a white. So where the light's coming from, we're gonna use the purple and put it fairly dark. And where the light comes out is the lightest. So we're going to put white on the opposite side. And then you kind of bounce around. But if you put the same color in the same section of the gem, you'll get an overall feeling that you have the light all coming from the same place. And we'll use a middle pinky color for the center. I decided after the video was completed that it would have looked a lot better had the center been a darker red. This is only the very basics of coloring a faceted gem, assuming you'll only use it a couple places in your Bible. I will do a more detailed tutorial on gems at another time. We're going to call those emeralds. So we need various shades of green. So again, light source is there. We'll put the darkest green towards the light. Instead of white for the lightest one, I'm gonna use acrid yellow. and then some middle shades of green. So see how you get the feeling of the light bouncing around? We'll put some sapphires across there. Yeah. 
Now, these are faceted, but these would be just stones. So I'm doing a little circle and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. See how there's a little circle and, and go out. And I'm not pressing very hard. These colors soft, soft are excellent, but we're gonna go back and start making it, pressing a little harder to the outside. And going back and just ever so lightly putting a little color right there. And again, we're going to make this be a red, red stone. And there's my highlight. Kind of small, so you can't do a lot of of blending, and but you get the point. You have your highlight, and then it goes to the shadow. Okay, the picture frame itself, I'm going to make shades of wood. So I'll basically be putting all the browns I have down into the design. Okay, so as you can see, I got the page colored nicely. And I need to comment that with the DeWitt Color Soft, I've put down multiple layers for blending. And the other side of the page, you can't hardly tell at all that, that you've pressed on it. Unlike other colored pencils, I don't have an impression mark at all on the next page. I'm impressed. So, I have it colored, and now we're gonna put the picture in. And I have a couple tips. The verse we're using is, gray hair is a crown of glory. And there's a second verse, not farther down, says children are the crown of the ages. So, I have a picture. I measured out the hole at two and a half inches. So I took a picture of my sister and I and mother and grandmother and printed it out at two and a half inches. This isn't a perfect rectangle, so I'm going to lay my paper over it and trace it as close as I can. We're gonna make a template to lay over the picture so we don't ruin more than one print.
Okay. So, I have a nice little template here. I have some packing tape. I'm going to put it over the picture to make it look like there's glass on the frame. Then I'm going to take my little template and put over the picture. I apologize for not being better in the frame. Using a Sharpie to draw on the tape. We'll cut it out. And it fits pretty good. Now, I'm going to give you a little hint. Even though I'm sure that this fits 99% perfect, I'm going to go in and fill in about, I don't know, one pencil width with dark, dark brown or black all the way around. So when I tape it or glue it in place, if there's any any area that's not perfect, it's not going to show. Okay, I've got my picture. And I'm going to use some Scotch Permanent Craft Runner Tape that's double-sided. And put and put the picture in place and since I put the dark brown pencil around it I don't have any white showing at all if the background of the picture is primarily dark you can have a lighter frame but since this frame was light I had to go in and put extra shadows there and I think I may make it even darker okay so there's no reason why you couldn't call this finished just like it is and I probably should have because I was a lot happier with it at this stage than after I finished foiling and fiddling around with it. I also decided that the centers of the gems should have been a lot darker red. The illustration used in this tutorial can be found at our resource website, creativebiblejournaling.com. Search for picture frame. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to our channel and join us on the website or the Facebook group. Hope you have a blessed day.